Right, hello guys, Jody Biker here, as you already know. Uh, I just want to do a, a quick video about this Roadhawk Bullet Bullet R Plus camera that I've just received. Uh, the whole reason I decided to get a second camera is just for like a, a rear view. So if if anything happens and I, I, I've got 100% proof of what what's happening behind. And the reason I went for the Roadhawk is because it's such it's just such a small little camera for uh, a, a small price. Essentially, you're getting 1080p out of this tiny camera for only 150 quid. So, kind of complain there. Uh, I'll show you the camera first. I've already got it mounted. So here it is. That little little tiny thing. Luckily for me, because you get you get tons tons with this. Like you, you, you don't get the amount of mounts from a GoPro or accessories straight away from a drift camera or a GoPro. This comes with everything. Comes with your your memory card, your sticky mounts. Comes with a tether. Uh, comes with a handlebar mount, which is how I've got my camera mounted here. Uh, makes it easier, and it also comes with a hard wiring kit. So quickly show you in the box so that's where the camera's from here's the hard wiring kit which I think sometime in the future I am going to do this because once the camera is hardwired in it's one of those that you can just forget about there's no rem remembering to charge it wipe in the memory card or uh, remembering to turn it on see so just connects to positive negative and then a live wire that goes in the back of the camera that's like your fuse box uh, and all it does is when you start the bike it automatically powers the camera on so like I say you can just forget about it and keep riding I know there's been a few times where I've went out riding and I uh, went to turn on turn on my drift or GoPro and be like oh shit like it's not charged so, you get the hard wiring kit, with that you hold that grom, cheers mate, get a spare back with all rings, there's your curved mount, Cheer. that's for like a bipod, it's just screwed on, uh, you even get a remote with it, remote with some more backs, uh, yeah, so you, even the GoPro doesn't come with that's mount you get its charger you get another swivel mount and some just extra sticky pads for if you need them so all in all for 150 quid it's not actually too bad you know considering what it is uh, so what's happened this is a uh, this is actually going to be the first ride using it so, yep. Yeah, so this is going to be the first ride actually using the camera. Uh, so we're we're both going to find out at the same time what the what the image quality is like what the image quality is like. But I mean, it's 1080p, so it's it's got it's got to do the job, really, hasn't it? Uh, it's quite a simple camera. For all you oldies out there, it's just one button starts the rec starts the recording, and then hold it again to stop the recording and turn the camera off. Uh, that's that's really about it to the camera. Uh, oh yeah, it comes with it com comes with a laser for. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I've not found a use for it yet, really. I suppose it's to help with the alignment, but all I was doing was shining it for the cat. It would be, be a good first-person view of your cat chasing the laser, at least. Uh, this can be used as a helmet camera, but 
the only gripe with it being the helmet camera, using it as a helmet camera rather than a dash cam, is well, two gripes. One, you can't plug a microphone into it, and two, it's only got 90 minutes of battery life on its own battery. So that's why I'll eventually be hardwiring it in, so it's got an infinite battery. So, but I mean, it's up to you guys if you just want something for short rides. Uh, to and from work, this will do you. Take it to work, charge it at work, or even if, even if uh, it's just a, a short trip to your work, it'll last there and back as long as it's under 90 minutes. Which I mean, you can't complain because I think my GoPro is about 90 minutes as well. But the only difference between that and a GoPro is the GoPro you can switch the batteries, whereas with this you can't. You can't take out the battery on this. So I think that's my two main gripes about it, no mic port and you can't change the batteries over. But as I say, I'm not using a fire helmet camera, it's going to be for a dash cam. Uh, and honestly, for a dash camera that's all you need, it's like an emergency camera. Like if anything happens, your GoPro's died, then that'll be there to back you up. I've seen the random bikers he has, I think, an older model of this, and he's got it mounted on here. So that gets all his, all the front view. So, you know, it's just a perfect little dash camera for motorbikes. Right, well, I suppose we best go and test it. Uh, you, you guys will see the footage in a second. So there's no how you feel of it. I, th I think I'll do a voice over the footage, just to say how I feel about the footage and uh, see, you, see you in a second guys ok guys what is up we're back at the PC just reviewing the footage for the first time and immediately what I notice is the colours appear to be a bit dull but for the type of camera it is it's expected but then again, when you look at it, they're not actually too bad. Obviously, I'm just basing this off like the, the GoPro quality, which is 10 out of 10. So, I mean, this is perfect for the job it does. Uh, the volume is quite loud on it, but that's expected because there's no microphone in helmet or anything. It's all based outside and where I've got the bike mounted it's right next to the chain and the exhaust so that's why it's quite loud uh, you can see a bit of fuzziness like the, the all the pixels going a bit funny but I think that's my fault messing with the settings ended up turning the sharpness right the way up so I think that was my own doing making it that pixelated but as you can see from all the cars you can read all the registrations perfectly clear. Plus, for a rear view camera, you know, the only time you're going to need to read the registration is if somebody uh, rear ends you. So, I mean, they'll be more than close enough to get the reg. But as you can see, you can read them perfectly from a few feet away. That's no problem. Uh, overall, just looking at the footage for £150, you kind of complain. Hello, scooter guy. <laughs> yep, so it really is a pretty decent camera. I'm really happy with that. Uh, hopefully anyone who's been looking at one of these cameras, I've given them a good, good uh, insight to what one's like. And... I don't know, just check them out guys, I'll leave a link in the description if you want one. And that's, that's everything from me, so peace out guys.